What's going on there folks? Good morning and good afternoon to some out there. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream. It is Friday, May 6, 2022. The end of the dreaded work week, right? Uh, about 10.42 a.m. California time. Latest quake uh, shows some movement out here uh, with a 2.7 on the Earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity, which has been uh, kind of a uh, somewhat busy uh, this morning in a few areas looking at quite a bit of movement right around the Fiji Islands area where we've seen uh, within the last hour a pretty deep 512 kilometer deep 5.3 now this area has seen quite a bit of tremendous deep movement here uh, in the course of not only the past couple days but over the last week or so and uh, we still haven't seen any subsequent large-scale movement down here to the south uh, where we would expect pressure to be building quite nicely uh, and it's not uh, we haven't seen that release so I'm getting a little concerned here that we could be seeing something much larger uh, in this area of the Kermadec Trench southward to the New Zealand uh, we've also noticed a uh, little bit of heightened movement around the Vanuatu area uh, with a um, couple of earthquakes here around the Port Villa area looks like uh, a couple fours and a couple fives in that mix of some movement throughout the last 24 hours. A uh, little quiet zone here through Papua New Guinea and the Indonesia area currently, uh, but uh, still some movement and aftershock sequences here around the Philippine Trench area, just south here of uh, the Philippines. This area, of course, has seen, uh, at least seen that six pointer here just a short day ago or so, right in the yellow circle, 6.0. But prior to that, uh, if you look back in the last 30 days, uh, of 4.5 and above this region uh, specifically has seen quite a bit uh, quite a number of er uh, earthquakes fives fours and even uh, think about three sixes in that mix Had a 6.0 yesterday and then uh, uh, 6.0 on the 20th right here of April and then if we go back a little bit further we had uh, the 6.1 on the 19th right here so three sixes in that mix and a whole bunch of fives uh, still popping there with some aftershock sequences in that area of the Philippine Trench. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Mariana Islands area uh, getting a uh, 5.3. Uh, this one occurring uh, yesterday. It looks like an older earthquake, but still within that 24-hour time period. And some movement also up here around the East China Sea. Um, that one as well, a little bit on the older side. Uh, Kuro Kamchaka Trench, a Japan Trench, eh, has gone quiet. I mean, look at that. Nothing. Zip zero going on up here along this area of the Pacific Plate. And over here along the Aleutian Trench, a little spotty. Uh, a little bit of activity out here around the Aleutian Islands. And it uh, looks like around some of the volcanoes <clears throat> there in that region. Uh, up here into the mainland, a little activity up around Denali and into the Anchorage area uh, with some deeper movement occurring up there. 126 kilometers for that 1.4 uh, just outside of the uh, Denali region. West coast still kind of looks on the quiet side. Uh, I know we got some activity occurring, but uh, we kind of follow these trends here when it's pretty active on this area of the Pacific Plate. Uh, things tend to tend to uh, calm down here. We do notice a little trend and lack of activity in that aspect. <clears throat> Goodness. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the states here real quick. Uh, see what we got. A little bit of movement around the Ridgecrest area. But then again, like I mentioned, there's not a whole lot up here through the eastern part of the Sierra Nevada. Uh, same for the central part of California. One earthquake here on the Parkfield section of the San Andreas Fault. And as we look down into the Southern California region, not a whole lot here, but we did notice a little movement off the coast into the Santa Barbara Channel. Uh, there's some fault systems that do run out here. A couple segments of them. Uh, looks like Santa Rosa Island Fault. Uh, I'm not for sure specifically which fault system this struck on, but looking at the depth of these earthquakes, they are very shallow here in this area. Um, I'm trying to see which one could be the 
culprit here for the faults, but uh, something to watch there with the shallow movement. And again, just off the coast of the Santa Barbara, California area. Uh, into the inland area of Texas, uh, getting some further activity around the Pecos, Texas area. A couple twos kicking off there this morning. And also some activity inland here into the Oklahoma region. Looks like north of Stillwater and uh, around the Chickasha area, 1.4. <coughs> Excuse me. In that area of Oklahoma, New Madrid zone pretty quiet. Eastern part of the country quiet as well. Into the Middle America Trench here off the coast of Guatemala and the Mexico area. Uh, getting some further development here. But this one's pretty shallow. Uh, 10 kilometers. Not really deep into the trench area. It's kind of more into the... Uh, uh, right around the uh, subduction uh, boundary where the uh, the plates here uh, begin to subduct. Very shallow earthquake there, 4.9. Off the coast of Costa Rica had a uh, 1.4. That one uh, from yesterday. South America region, uh, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, a little bit of activity up around the Ecuador area with a 3.9. Surprised the USGS is showing that. Uh, again, that was from yesterday. Looking at today's activity, we did have a couple uh, into the Peru and the Argentina region with a 4.6 and a 4.5. All other movement here south. Uh, some older activity. But notice this one right here from yesterday. Uh, 5.1 off the coast of Santiago right before the uh, subduction zone begins and this one's pretty shallow at about 10 kilometers uh, into this area of the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, check out the big island of Hawaii out here lighten up a little bit. Uh, uh, Mauna Loa looks a little on the quiet side today not uh, any swarming to take note of in that area and if you look at the southeast region only seven earthquakes that's uh, it's a very quiet, uh, quiet day here in this area of the Big Island. Uh, latest quake, a 2.0. Look at, look at this, 33.3. There's those numbers that just keep popping up. Uh, let's see here, what else we got? Uh, rest of the world, some movement up around China and out here in the Indian Ocean. Got a pair of earthquakes here around Pakistan. This area has been. Uh, bumping pretty good here with earthquakes up to the north as well into the mountainous regions uh, but uh, today actually last night looks like uh, just those two earthquakes a pair of them 5.1 and a 5.2 around the Greece area of course we did see some movement here in the EMSC model um, shown up on the earthquake 3d globe we have to go down to this smaller scale map to see the activity out here and about around the Mediterranean Sea uh, we also had a 4.6 out here in the uh, Azores area, the Cape St. Vincent Ridge. This one uh, at about 20 kilometers below the surface. Let's see what else we got here. A little bit of scattered activity throughout Turkey, western Turkey it looks like. And uh, a couple of those quakes here around the Azores. So I'm going to watch that area pretty closely, see what else we got. Uh, one earthquake way up here around the Greenland Sea. Got a 4.3 kicking off there it looks like in that area of the world. Puerto Rico area has seen uh, a little bit of movement uh, over the course of the 24 hour period. Up here around the Virgin, uh, British Virgin Islands area, seen a 3.4. Uh, aside from that, southwestern part of Puerto Rico still getting in on some activity, but not as significant as days and weeks past. Uh, over here, kind of bouncing around. I know we're making a full kind of zigzag across the map. Uh, look at the Pacific Northwest, pretty quiet um, into Washington and Oregon. Some activity throughout Idaho. Aside from that, let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map here in the area, uh, where it looks like we've seen about 22 epicenters of trimmer into the southern end of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. I'm going to check out the uh, Mount St. Helens seismograph station real quick. See if we got any uh, swarming continuing here at the volcano in Washington here at the dome station. And uh, 
uh, yeah, a little bit, little bit of activity once again. Looks like some small microquakes, uh, nothing significant. And of course, the previous day, uh, we did see some further movement here at Mount St. Helens with uh, some earthquakes popping off. So it comes and goes. Right now, it just kind of looks like it's on a, a little quiet spell here over the last few hours. Let's go ahead and jump into space weather here real quick. Solarham.net website. Uh, where we did see a couple sea flares popping off here uh, overnight and early this morning as well. Uh, there's a uh, upper sea flare. There's the M flares from uh, yesterday. We haven't seen any further M flares since then. Looks like the uh, largest was a uh, C 4.8. So far, the uh, culprits on these sunspots. At least these flares are uh, kind of kicking off here from 3004. That's uh, about the only major significant one that uh, I'm kind of watching right now for some further flaring. 3006 over here, as massive as it is, it's not really super dynamic. And uh, on the sunspot map here, it's not even super distinct. 3004, I believe, is the main player at the moment right now in the possibilities of these flares kicking off. Looks like a 20% chance still being listed from uh, this site here as far as the X flare potential goes here from 3004. So we will watch this uh, throughout the day today. This article here was put out this morning it looks like. Uh, 3004 did show some signs of decay within the trailing section of the group but will remain a threat for an isolated moderate M flare. Uh, a major X-class solar flare is less likely but cannot be rolled out. Of course, we've kind of been watching that throughout the year, right? Kind of wants to just do what it wants to here on the sun. So uh, any type of geomagnetic forecast looks green across the board for now. We'll definitely see how that uh, pops up here in the coming days, folks. So. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, I know there's not a whole lot going on. It's just been uh, quiet there as well. Like I say, swarms come and go here as whenever they feel like it. Uh, but more specifically, it seems like swarms kick up here when uh, activity generally comes to uh, a uh, the region here. Hold on, let me show you guys. Generally seems to pick up a lot when we notice a lot of earthquake activity into the western part of the uh, North American plate. But um, like I could say there's not a whole lot kicking off here in California or or Washington or Oregon for that matter. So uh, things just kind of calm across the center part of the states. And Earthquakes Canada will go ahead and vis visit this website here real quick. And not a whole lot popping off here. Looks like the latest quake in the purple circle here, 1.3 outside of the uh, Quebec area. All right, folks, live stream is up and running. Uh, it did go down this morning around 3.33 right don't you get it it's kind of weird these numbers keep popping up and whenever i have issues with the stream it's always between 3 and about 3:40 in the morning so in this time the computer did not reset but i lost the internet or the uh, it had to have been the internet connection or the connection to the youtube server and um still haven't put my finger on it but uh We'll get to the bottom of it, right? Eventually, but uh, sometimes you know I'm not up at three in the morning, so it takes me a couple hours to uh, get the stream up and running. If it does go down that early in the morning, so. But we're back. We're up, and uh, if it goes down again, we'll come right back up. If it goes down a hundred times today, we'll bring it right back up. So uh, the only thing it does is uh, obviously keeps me busy, and it looks like whoever's up to it. Whoever the culprit is, is having fun doing it. All right, guys, have a good day. We will chat to you a little bit later on, and we'll be watching the uh, solar weather activity throughout the day. And, uh, of course, provide updates as needed. Uh, don't forget to, uh, if you do use Twitter, make sure you go over to the Earthmaster page. At uh, uh, You'll find us. Just do a search for the Earthmaster. Uh, I believe the link is Real Earthmaster on Twitter. And uh, you can also follow us on the uh, Facebook uh, social media page. So go over there and check out the Earth Master as well. Make sure you give us a like while you're on that uh, page. 
Take care, guys. We will chat you a little bit later tonight.